Um, we're going to use eighth inch veneer, and then we're going to use a binding comb, a plastic binding comb, and then probably like 50 pages of paper in here. So it's a good measurement project. It's a good combination of CNC routering, laser engraving, and then a little bit of traditional woodworking. And then um, the other part of the project is to make a ruler and a speed square that'll just fold inside. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is cut our stock. I have a four by eight sheet of veneer. Pretty hard to rip this. The sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11. So the question is, do I want to go eight and a half this way or 11 this way? And I, I think I calculated it out. If I do 11s this way and eight and a half this way, I get 44 out of here. But I actually like the grain going lengthwise. So I'm going to go eight and a half out of the 48, which won't give me that much. I'm going to have a little bit of scrap, and I won't be able to. I'll, I'll cut four or less out of one sheet. So you know, material layout's kind of key. So I'm going to rip this at eight and a half. So I'm going to set this fence at eight and a half. Make sure the guard's in place. This is a really hard rip to do. So I'm going to stay way out here. The majority of the weight's on the table. And I'm really focused on keeping it on the fence. And then, once the whole weight's on the table saw, right here, come around the side, once the whole weight's on the table saw, you just want to support it. Then I control the board between the blade and the fence. All the way through and off the blade. Now I have a strip at eight and a half, and a half, and I need to measure to 11. I'm going to mark at 11. And remember, my blade is on the scrap side of my board. So this is my key piece. This is my off cut. So I got to make sure my blade's on this side of the line, even though my off cut is pretty big. Fingers never going under that blade. All the guards are in place. Fingers never go within, you know, six inches of that blade. So I'm going to bring it up near that line on, on my side of it. Good firm hold on it. All the way through. So there's my one sheet, eight and a half by 11. So let me cut my second sheet. Again, I want to mark it and make sure my blades on this side of my mark. I start out and I push away from it. And there are my two covers for the book, my front and my back cover. And again, you know, they should be identical. All right, let's go to the CNC router and run the binding comb. Here are my two wooden front and back covers. They should just slide right here into this fixture setup. Um, it should be out of the way. You wanna bring them right into the corner and bring them right snug. And then you wanna clamp them down. You want them square. Clamp the front one down and the back one. Make sure you have an eighth inch flat end mill here. And then you're gonna bring this mill right to this corner. It's a little ways up. I have two pencil markings here. So I'm gonna bring it forward. This is my jog speed, how fast is traveling in inches per minute. So I'm gonna travel as fast as I can until I get close to it. Very conscious that I don't run into the clamp. Now, once I get close to it, then I turn that speed way down to like 10 inches per minute to get it really close. So I'm going to line it up on those two crosshairs there. And because my depth of cut is um, pretty deep, I'm going to leave just a little bit between my bit and my board. Okay? So I'm saying this is my new origin right here. So what I need to do is tell the computer it's my new origin. So I gotta say that's zero, zero, zero. So I'm gonna hit zero all. And then now I'm ready to run my file. I'm just gonna double check it one, one time by previewing it. And I can see right here, here's my Y, X, and Z axis. It's centered on the origin. There are multiple cuts and it's going up in the Y direction. So that looks like a good preview. I make sure there's nothing laying around here. It's all clear. I have my glasses on. 
Uh, and then I'm going to clear, and then I'll start it. Right here. Here's another example of a nice uh, notebook. This one's a river map on the front. You could do the laser engrave before you cut the CNC holes in here. You could do it afterwards. You can kind of go anywhere. When you're all done with the CNC cutting, though, what you do want to do is use a piece of sandpaper and really take off all the sharp edges and round these corners. I put like a quarter inch round over on every corner so there are no sharp corners on it. So once it's all sanded, then you're going to come in here and grab your paper. Um, single sheet of paper is about five thousandths of an inch. So single sheets, five thousandths. You want 40 sheets of paper. You could count out 40, or you could just go five thousandths times 40, which is 200 thousandths of an inch, 0.2. So I'm going to find it until I get to 0.2. This is 0.085. It's probably twice as much as that. So using the calipers, you want to get to about 0.2 inches thick. Okay, and then this is a hole cutter right here. This is very important. Don't cut more than 10 sheets at a time, or you'll break this. So here's my whole stack of paper. I do need to keep track of the order that I'm cutting the holes in. So I'm going to grab about 10 sheets, put them right in here, all the way down, square it up. And then that punches the holes in them. And then that, I'm going to do that to all 40 sheets. And then that should line up with this. And then you want to put the binding comb in there. And you could do that either with this, or you could just do it by hand and pull these things through. Right, so you just pull these through Safety that way. Safety first, go slow, think out your processes, wear your glasses.